OK, time to dispel the myth that Windows setup takes quite a while. Um, we have a new server here, um, built into a NZXT gaming case. Um, I'll post the full full spec in the description, but the key point is that we have a RAID controller card from Adaptech, that's a 5405, and we have a set of four solid stick drives in a quick release caddy. Now, to do this justice, we're not going to be installing Windows off a DVD. We're going to be using a Corsair Force 3 solid state drive, which we have another quick release caddy for the front. Now, as a slight downside to using a dedicated RAID controller card, we do end up with a slightly slower boot time. The, typically we end up with about an additional 45 seconds. So this is booting the RAID controller card now. I'm going to try and get zoomed in. Now, I've already configured this in, uh, in RAID 5. We do need this PC to have uh, a little bit of protection. It's RAID 5 with a hot spare, so we're actually only going to get two drives as a data drive. They're both 120 gig OCZ uh, Agility 3s. Hopefully, this shouldn't take too long. Okay, red car booted. Very quickly past the BIOS screen. And straight into loading Windows setup off the solid state drive. Quickly click through the uh, setup here. Quickly accept the license agreement. And here we go, Windows Setup. Notice copying Windows files was virtually instant. Expanding should take a little bit longer than usual. I'm not using a standard Windows disk. Um, the Windows installation includes a few little extras, as well as all the updates up to the 5th of January 2012. OK, the rate it's going, this expanding window should be less than two minutes. Anyone who's used solid state drives previously will know that it's quite often the CD-ROM drive that holds you back. Installations will proceed at lightning if they're in speed if they're ran off the hard drive, but anything you run off a CD or a DVD-ROM takes a while to copy over before anything gets going. 
which is what's prompted me to test this using a Corsair solid state drive to install. Installing features virtually instant. Installing updates, a few seconds. Okay, we're going to get a reboot now. Um, we should see us waiting that extra 45 seconds for the RAID controller card. I'll probably edit that out of the of the video. Okay, here we are back at the RAID controller card boot. Of course, anyone who's already used motherboard-based RAID will know know that motherboard-based RAID, when activated, does add a few seconds to your boot time, but nothing as substantial as this. But uh, it's going to be nowhere near as quick as this once it's booted up. Just while I'm waiting for this to complete, um, the Windows installation has been tweaked slightly. There's a few extra programs been added in, uh, CPU-Z, GPU-Z, Speccy, uh, a few other diagnostic tools. Um, because it's also intended for use in an office, it's also had uh, the multimedia features removed, the games removed, and a few other features removed. Also just a few small tweaks, um, just to make setup a little bit easier and a bit slicker. Um, nothing major after the removal. Okay, again, another 45 seconds from the RAID controller card. Slight issue when installing off the solid state drive there. I believe we may have installed the boot sector onto the solid state drive. I'll test that to confirm that in a moment, but let's let's let it finish the installation first. Right, so username. Just tap anything. This is getting reinstalled again later, so I'll just skip through these.
Um, for anyone who wants to check the full spec of this PC, if you visit the website, which will also be posted in the video description, uh, you can get the full spec and, de and full details of the tweaked Windows installation on my blog on the website. Interestingly, while the desktop is preparing, we appear to have virtually no hard drive activity. Occasional flash every 10 seconds or so. But... Let's see. 